with the balance passes of version 43.3, a few heroes have really come to light. Shinbi, Crunch, they're really in the limelight, and there's one particular card I think works pretty well with them. Amazon is the tried and true way of shopping for anything you need or want at the lowest prices. Support the channel at no cost to you by doing your Amazon shopping through the link in the video description. Yeah, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Silfen, where we're taking a look at the math behind Cryo Agent. So guys, the TLDR is, it basically just deals damage after you use an ability on your next basic attack and it slows in an aoe and deals that damage in an aoe basically it relies heavily on your on your ability to cast abilities and land basic attacks every two and a half seconds in order to have maximum effect yep you can use it as burst but really that per, that sustained damage and slow is really quite substantial it's 91 percent the damage output potential of withering shadow but it obviously doesn't damage yourself, which is a huge consideration. Cryo Agent is also 90% of the overall effect of Plague Lord's slow and obviously doesn't have a blight. So 90% the damage potential of Withering Shadow and 90% the overall slow effect of Plague Lord. The 150 movement speed slow, however, is enough to severely impact the flow and evolution of an engagement it really enables you to body block really well landing basics and abilities obviously and landing other key cards 150 movement speed slow is significant so you can kind of rotate around people and just it, it impacts an engagement quite well cryo agent is a damage card fundamentally that provides about 90 percent the effectiveness of withering shadows damage and plague lord slow basically you can get best of those two obviously with, with without their stats in one card if one is capable of using frequent abilities and landing basic attacks cryo agent has the potential to severely disrupt and influence any engagement so that was the tldr what is the more in-depth look what's the math behind cryo agent that leads me to those assumptions guys if you did did not know cryo agent is a five agility three intellect knowledge card so Agility, more more attack speed and basic and basic armor approach and intellect, obviously going down the mana tree. Kind of gives you an idea of who this card is kind of for and the knowledge affinity. Lots of casters uh, really like the knowledge and some other heroes as well. Thirteen power, one hundred and forty mana, not bad at all for an eight cost card. Thirteen power is is all right and 140 mana is a good amount as well so the stats you get here on cryo agent is quite substantial now the passive is what you really care about and is really the, the potential is there it's called ice burst after using an ability your next basic attack deals 125 ability damage in an area and slows movement speed of enemies affected by 150 for one and a half seconds there's a two and a half second internal cooldown, so you have to, you can't just use an ability every second and get that ability damage and slow every second. It only happens every two and a half seconds. It used to be four, which is pretty much useless. Now it's two and a half. I would almost like to see it a little, a little faster, but you, you, you that, that, that'd be getting into maybe unbalanced territory. So basically, after using ability, hey. You can your next basic attack deals some extra damage and slows people pretty significantly for a short time. Now, what's some of the math here that we can do to kind of shed some light on Cryo Agent? Essentially, 125 damage divided by the two and a half second cooldown gives us 50 DPS on a single target. 50 ability damage per sec. Really quite simple. 50 DPS, nah, not bad. Not bad. It's it's a little bit extra, and you get that slow. 1.5 second duration divided by the 2.5 second cooldown means that you're slowed about 60% of the time. 60% of the time, you are slowed by Cryo Agent, assuming Cryo Agent is used every 2.5 seconds. 150 slow divided by 100 slow means that Cryo Agent is 50% more of a slow than Plague Lord. Now, since 
cryo agent isn't on all the time, however, 1.5 times 0.6 equals 90% of the overall effect of Plague Lord. Little bit odd way to go about it, but basically, if when you average everything out, cryo agent is 90% of the overall effect of Plague Lord. It's just that Plague Lord is all the time at a slower slow, but cryo agent is not all the time but a bigger slow so it's when you do the math it's about 90 percent the overall effect of plague lord with a little bit of gameplay implications that we do talk about later in terms of the damage of course the more units that are around you well the more damage it deals because it's in an aoe one target 125 damage as we already said but two targets 250 Three, 375, 500, and 625 damage if there's five units around you. It doesn't matter if it's a, if it's Orb Prime, if it's a minion or a hero, it's going to deal that damage. And there you go. So 625 damage if you're in a team fight, all five enemy heroes, and that's 250 DPS. Hey, that's not bad. Especially if, you know, you're just a damage dealer doing your normal thing, plus you got an AoE damage and AoE slow. That's really actually not that bad. Now, if we go 50 damage that Cryo Agent deals per second divided by 55, which is the damage that Withering Shadow deals, you can see it's about 91% the damage of Withering Shadow, but obviously you're not taking the damage yourself like Withering Shadow forces you to do. So this is really interesting. Because how do you include that, that self-damage from Withering Shadow into this equation to be like, what is it like? I don't know. You know, how much, how much do you value your own health, right? Yeah, you're dealing 55 damage in an AoE around you with Withering Shadow, but you're also taking 55 damage. So what is the value of that? If we're going to assume with this tank meta that health is, say, twice as, twice as valuable as damage, that would swing the effective value of Cryo Agent to Withering Shadow. Just off the top of my head, that would mean if health is twice the va as valuable as damage, well, Cryo Agent is what? Two? Three times more valuable than Withering Shadow? Something like that? And it has a slow, and Withering Shadow does not. Yes, Withering Shadow does have health and, 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 and other bigger stats since it is a more expensive card but there is a small component that is similar to cryo agent what about the health part of it well if we want to kind of take into 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 consideration that health 395 health that you get on withering shadow divided by 55 damage that you're dealing to yourself basically it gives you about seven seconds or 385 damage around you of of damage it basically gives you so if you want to include that kind of health that you get on withering shadow is damage well it gives you about seven seconds worth of that active that you can just kind of have it on now seven seconds of cryo agent then well seven divided by two and a half times the 50 damage per second is 350 damage and as you can see it's pretty much the same it's really pretty much the same uh yes cryo agent is only a two and a half second chunk so technically at the seven second mark you're only at 250 damage and then at the seven and a half so half a second later you're at the 375 damage basically it's the same basically it's the same very very close of course you don't get the health on cryo agent but hey it in the damage department it's very close so what are some factual statements here we can make about cryo agent and kind of help us understand what it's all about cryo agent relies solely on casting abilities and landing basic attacks every two and a half seconds in order to have maximum effect this doesn't mean that you that you can't have some burst and just kind of have a one at 150 move speed slow for one and a half seconds doesn't mean that you can't focus use it as a bursty item it's just 125 damage we'll just add to that little bit of a burst which isn't it isn't too too much in my opinion so i think cryogen is more about oh, about long-term damage of using it as much as he can and it kind of just builds up and the slow is it is just used multiple times cryo agent is 91 percent the damage potential of withering shadow without having to damage oneself so as a damage dealer you can have withering kind of have withering shadow with with without spending that much that that much 
stats uh, for Withering Shadow and deal some good damage. Cryo Agent is 90% the overall slow effect of Plague Lord, again for with those same with with those same benefits. You don't have to go. You don't have to, um, you know, play, pay for a very costly Plague Lord, which is 13 attribute points or 12 or something like that. And Cryo Agent is only eight. Not bad. So you can get the slow of Plague. You get the slow of Plague Lord, Plague Lord and the damage of Withering Shadow on Cryo Agent for eight. Basically, eight attribute points and some stats. Pretty damn good. Again, 150 movement speed slow is enough to severely impact the flow and evolution of an engagement. It could allow, say, you to get around somebody and body block them in, 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 in small spaces. That could allow, you know, me and my impossible to land Gideon cues would actually maybe allow me to, to, to land that cue. Your casters could use their abilities a little bit more reliably. Your carries could actually, could, you know, a good triple tap from a, from a twin blast. It would really help there. That 150 move speed slow is is severe enough. It, it's it's enough of a slow to allow a lot of these things to actually happen. A hundred movement speed slow, yeah, from Plague Lord, it's it's severe, but not quite, not quite enough as 150. And I think that that is kind of right around the point where you can really do some key things. Essentially. Cryo Agent is a damage card that provides about 90% the effectiveness of Withering Shadow's damage and Plague Lord's slow. Again, for 8 attribute points, you can get Withering Shadow's damage and Plague Lord's slow on one card and just do your damage thing. You're, you know, maybe you got some, some tank elsewhere, but Cryo Agent, you got that AoE damage and the AoE slow. If you are capable of using frequent abilities and landing basic attacks, Cryo Agent has a potential to severely disrupt and influence any engagement. If you are a Shinbi, if you are a Crunch, even a Wraith has some good potential. Um, Grux with his bleed every five seconds or four seconds. Uh, he can obviously use that. Sevrog with his siphon every every little bit could, could really use that as well. A lot of heroes have some potential to kind of combo their abilities uh, over time and deal some good damage. Countess, maybe not so much, but it really is there. On Wraith, when he first came out, I loved Cryo Agent on him. I would use my my Who's There to proc Cryo Agent into a basic, into a snipe, into some more basics, into a back it up to proc it again. Basic attack before that land, before 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 they backed up to, to, to proc that again. The, you, you, you would keep basic attacking them. Your snipe would then come off cooldown. You would snipe them, which would proc Cryo Agent again. And then by that time, they're pretty much dead, especially with um, other people around you. And of course, just if, you, if it was a good 1v1 trade. Really, really key. You pretty, I don't really have to explain how, why this is good on Shinbi or Crunch. They just use abilities all the damn time, literally all the time. Um, and they could really, really use this. Shinbi is probably the best hero to use a Cryo Agent. And when I first saw Cryo Agent, I was like, this is mandatory for somebody like Shinbi. Because again, you can get around people, body block, which is a, bit, a little bit weird for Shinbi, but it is something you got to consider, especially if you're going in on the carries or something like that. Hey, really good card. So guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Cryo Agent. Does this kind of, you know, Turned you on to Cryo Agent 90%. The 90% Withering Shadows damage and Plague Lord slow. That's damn good. And an 8 attribute point cost card that gives you good damage stats. It's, it's good, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Patreon allows creators to offer their fans a way of supporting them and what they do. With flexible and painless payment options, anyone can support their creator for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to help me do what I love, check out the link in the video description to learn more. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it, if you dislike it, share it with the community, and of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, uh, please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future because October is looking awesome. Please check the video description for links to my website, my merchandise store, Amazon affiliate links, and my social media. All that stuff. Give it a follow and check that out. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.